Halloween idiom quiz. To scare the pants off someone. To scare the pants off someone means A. I lost my pants. B. I'm really scared. C. Let's go shopping for pants. Or D. Oh, I like your pants. To scare the pants off someone means E. Something scared me. She scared the pants off me. Two, to have a skeleton in your closet. To have a skeleton in your closet means A, I have a pet skeleton. B, I have a man in my cupboard. C, I have an embarrassing secret. Or D, I am scared. To have a skeleton in your closet means C. I have an embarrassing secret. I have a skeleton in my closet. No one knows about my ex boyfriend. Three, to be a death trap. To be a death trap means A. It's a trap to catch animals. B. Something is going to attack me. C. It's a scary place. D. A dangerous place or a thing. To be a death trap means D. A dangerous place or thing. That roller coaster is a death trap. Four. To spill your guts. To spill your guts means A. To be sick. B. To confess or tell someone everything. C. To kill someone. D. To spill your drink. To spill your guts means B. To confess or tell someone everything. He spilled his guts and told me everything. Five, to make someone's blood boil. To make someone's blood boil means A. I am very hot. B. I have a fever. C. I am very angry. D. I am very scared. To make someone's blood boil means C. I am annoyed or angry. Rude people make my blood boil. Six, to be a ghost town. To be a ghost town means A, a haunted town. B, a place that is quiet and empty. C, I saw a ghost. Or D, a place that is scary and mysterious. To be a ghost town means B, a place that is quiet and empty. The park is like a ghost town. Where is everyone? Seven, dig your own grave. Dig your own grave means A, say something mean to someone. B, to dig a big hole. C, to talk all the time. Or D, do something that will cause you problems. Dig your own grave means D. Do something that will cause you problems. He dug his own grave by cheating on the test. Eight. To be a night owl. To be a night owl means A. To like staying up late. B. To have a pet owl. C. To work the night shift. D. To be very wise. To be a night owl means 
A. To like staying up late. She is a night owl. She stays up late reading. Nine. To stab someone in the back. To stab someone in the back means A. To scare someone. B. To kill someone. C. To portray someone. D. To injure someone. To stab someone in the back means C. To betray someone. She stabbed me in the back when she told everyone my secret. Ten. To be a scaredy cat. To be a scaredy cat means A. To be scared of water. B. To be scared of cats. C. To like cats. D. To be easily frightened. To be a scaredy cat means D. To be easily frightened. He is scared of everything. He is a scaredy cat. Eleven. Come back to haunt me. Come back to haunt me means A. To make a mistake that will come back later. B. To see a ghost. C. To feel guilty about something. D. To be a stalker. To come back to haunt me means A. To make a mistake that will come back later. The decision to skip class came back to haunt me when I was caught. Twelve. To be scared stiff. To be scared stiff means A. To have stiff shoulders. B. To feel sick. C. To be very scared. D. To be injured. To be scared stiff means C. To be very scared. I was scared stiff when I saw the spider. Thirteen. To let the cat out of the bag. To let the cat out of the bag means A. Lose some money. B. Let out a scream. C. Release a cat from a bag. Or D. Tell a secret. To let the cat out of the bag means D. Tell a secret. She let the cat out of the bag about the surprise gift. Fourteen. To be drop dead gorgeous. To be drop dead gorgeous means A. To drop something. B. To look dead. C. To look beautiful. D. To drop dead. To be drop dead gorgeous means C. To look beautiful. Wow, she is drop dead gorgeous. Fifteen. Over my dead body. Over my dead body means A. You are very scared. B. You'll do anything to stop it happening. C. You feel really ill. D. You have a dead body. Over my dead body means B. You'll do anything to stop it happening. You'll marry him over my dead body. Sixteen. I smell a rat. I smell a rat means A. There's a bad smell. B. I can smell a rat. C. I think you smell bad. D. I suspect a trick or deception. I smell a rat means D. I suspect a trick or deception. I think this is a scam. I smell a rat. Seventeen. The graveyard shift. The graveyard shift means A. The night shift. B. The graveyard. 
C, a scary place, or D, a funeral. The graveyard shift means A, the night shift. I slept during the day because I worked the graveyard shift. 18, to make a grave mistake. To make a grave mistake means A, you are very scared. B, you made a serious mistake. C, you feel really ill. D, you have a dead body. To make a grave mistake means you made a serious mistake. The manager made a grave mistake by firing the employee. Like a bat out of hell means A, he's a crazy person. B, there's a scary bat falling. C, do something fast and wildly. Or D, do something in a bad mood. Like a bat out of hell means C, do something fast and wildly. She drove like a bat out of hell. 20, to be dead on your feet. To be dead on your feet means A, to be shot, B, to try hard, C, to be very tired, D, to be a zombie. To be dead on your feet means C, to be very tired. By the end of the day, the workers were dead on their feet. How did you do with the Halloween idioms?